Now one three is getting cancelled for no reason? Wait, what? He made a video to 30 minutes long. So Bill Kinappa was playing in a game in mass or something, so one minute people started flaming him, it was a bit passive aggressive, but he wasn't wasn't hard playing. The person who was playing was a girl, but he didn't know that at all. He typed the war horde to insta mute. And I was called a misogynist calling women whores or games. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, does whore insta mute? It does! That's the first time I was muted in my life. Wait, what? Like, what can you use? What kind of... What insult can you use? I'm pretty sure I've seen, like, way worse stuff. And people didn't get muted. I'm 95% certain I've seen some incredibly despicable shit. Okay, let's see what is up here. Hey guys, if you've been following me for quite some time, you know Drama and I are very well acquainted, unfortunately. I am the peanut butter, Drama's the jelly, I'm the pizza, Drama's the pineapple. Wait, really? Has he had a lot of drama? I don't remember. I don't remember hearing much about him, honestly. Point. I'm gonna start making these types of videos anytime I'm involved in any piece of significant drama. I look back and I think it was a huge blunder to not make these types of videos in the past when I was involved in previous dramas with other people. I mean, whether I need to sincerely yeah, apologize or whether I need to clarify oh. the situation, I think it's really important. At least my audience hears what I have to say. What I've learned in the past is that if I don't Maybe apologize I just didn't situations, care. it's oh. just gonna become an equivocal matter that's gonna just stay there and fester like a butt hemorrhoid that just won't go away for years. And I just wanna reiterate to you all that I'm not a perfect person. I'm always growing and learning with you guys. We all make mistakes, and I made my plentiful share of mistakes. At some point, I thought I had a mistake fetish, and I've had my share of toxic and immature moments in the past. I mean, I feel like League as a, as a community and as a game brings up the worst in people, and that's no excuse in any way. I just want to that yes, I have been wrong many, many times, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, but now, as I grow older, and today, I feel like I strive to be in a non-toxic environment and not spread negativity, which is why this specific drama really deeply saddened me, and I'm going to explain why. So this all began yesterday morning when I woke okay. up to see myself Seems first, genuine so far. by a fellow content creator that goes by the name of LS, and uh, that came along with a lot of mean, nasty, hateful tweets sent my direction. Now, LS has a predisposition to disliking me because of some drama that happened years ago, and I, I will explain that in the video as well and show you what I mean, and I will apologize for those instances as well. But regardless, uh, I needed to explain myself in this instance and clarify what happened, and I, again, mm. I don't want the purpose of this video to spread more hate or negativity. I just want my supporters to see the truth. So I'm gonna start off by showing you the tweet that was kind of the major catalyst in fueling this drama and it reads out like this. He says, she didn't even say anything bad, you are ill. I imagine he's not referring to me having a cold there. She's saying you're AFK, not paying attention to the game while clearing and you turn around and call her a whore. You continue to just be one of the most perplexing pieces of shit that ever was birthed from the law community. That was a mouthful. So before I share my thoughts on what he had tweeted there, I think it's probably okay, so that's basically like you guys summed up. how this began and all of what actually had happened, and then I will share with you my final thoughts on the matter. So this all began from this person's tweet right here, who I've never met before. Her name is Florence, and she mentions in her tweet that this is the first game we ever played together. Uh, she reads out, "LOL, he may or may not have called me a whore and flamed me to a stream of 5,000 people for the entire game. First game with Night Blue, but I don't think I'm a fan." So what happened there is we played a game together, and I had no idea who this person is. This person's not a streamer. This person just plays solo queue like you know, like everyone else. And they seem to have misconstrued the part of the whore thing, which I will explain. And on top of that, they were very disingenuous when saying that I was flaming them the entire game. And I will show you the VOD. Honestly, the whole point of this video is to just show the truth to my followers and supporters because I've really been striving to be a better person. And show it, really it. Hurts. it really, really hurts, man. When I feel like I didn't even do anything wrong. Uh, well, maybe a little thing, and I will explain that. Show um, it. Take it yeah, off. I, it hurts, man, to see that like I'm trying my best and putting a lot of effort in, and I still have the same result, same drama. So one last thing I need to show you before we get into the belly of the beast that is the VOD here is that I replied to this tweet that she was saying I may or may not have called her a whore and you know was slamming her all game. I felt the need to respond to this because it's a pretty major allegation to be misogynistic. I've never hinted at any sort of misogyny in my life. So what I replied to this person was a question mark and some screen caps of you know her being toxic the entire game, so completely contrary to what she's saying. And I thought that this was enough evidence to refute what she's saying and show that she's just being disingenuous. Unfortunately, the community already has this you know predisposition of disliking me, so this is just food for them. You know, they, they thought like okay, we'll go with it. So he's trying to yeah, true. I know Night Blue is not very liked, and uh, these things heavily, heavily impact the way. Um, it's gonna go down after something comes out. Like specifically, uh, Ocelot is a recent example because he was a bit of a controversial figure, and I know many people didn't like Ocelot. Many disliked him, especially since like the older days, and he he was a very uh, dramatic person, you know, creating creating chaos and uh, all kinds of stuff. He was just very uh, entertaining guy to watch, but that left many people not liking him. And uh, when shit came down, it was uh, very easy to go against him, right? And himself for he he did call this random girl a whore and he's defending himself by showing that she's just criticizing his gameplay and that was the complete opposite of what I intended to do with this tweet. So read out this tweet in chronological order. The first one at ten minutes is she says you're legitimately looking at your map while you're in your jungle. Please watch replay this game and look at your positioning things. Maybe please turn into content. Again, I just want to reiterate this is not really that bad. This is tame for solo queue and I just say okay, Florence, thank you, you're a great player, thank you for your advice. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic here, but again, pretty tame. And then she says not saying that, lol. I'm just saying watch the replay when I ask if you're blind. She asked me was spamming me and asking me if I was blind earlier in the game, which I did not post. And I will show this in the bot as well, the context of that situation. And then at the very end of the game, she says I don't know how great has negative impact with you know a little match on the keyboard there. My intentions with this response was to quickly refute what she was saying in her initial post where she was saying I was flaming her all game because she was sure of that part but she was not sure about the may or may not have been called the whore part of the situation. I don't know. I mean, it just thought came to me. It's just such a weird thing. Like you're you're watching a grown man apologize for like a, some random uh, thing that happened in a video game. Like a word. <laughs> I don't know. It just 
It was just like, wait, what am I watching? <laughs> and that's why I thought posting screenshots of the game where she was actually flaming the entire game. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like, uh, like I literally, I literally yesterday got called a pedophile by a guy who because I, I, I stole, I'm not kidding, a cannon minion from him. I, I'm not joking. I stole as a cannon minion. He flashed forward, ran under the enemy turret, called me a pedophile. Straight up. I'm not joking. I wish I was exaggerating. There's a clip of that. He didn't get banned, no feedback, nothing. <laughs> like, this community is so fucked. Like, I mean, it's just people being competitive and saying dumb shit. Like, that's way, way off the limits. Like, whatever the flame happened between these two is just so mild, boring. And I didn't even respond. I will show you every single interaction in this file that I had with any player in the game. And unfortunately, it was misconstrued by the entire league community that I was actually, I did call her a whore and that I'm defending my position by showing she's critiquing my gameplay. And I understand the community has this predisposition of disliking me for previous dramas and toxicity, but it really does hurt like today when I'm really striving to be better. And I hope you can see that when I show you the vod of the situation, how I do respond towards the toxicity nowadays versus how I used to respond to it back in the day, like two, three years ago. One more important detail that I have to explain to avoid further scrutiny on this matter and future matters is the way my Twitch VOD system works. So if you've ever watched my stream, you know that I don't publish every VOD. They automatically save unpublished and I have to manually click publish to release the VOD. Ah, because the music. Three weeks. And I only have a handful of VODs available on the channel. And if you've ever watched my channel or my, my stream, you know that I don't publish every VOD. It's actually rare I publish VODs. So I just want to clarify, I did not delete the VOD. I'm not trying to hide anything. I've always been doing this where if I'm having a terrible day of league, I was like two wins and 10 losses. I'll pull up my match history right now to show you guys my score that day. And I'm like, if I'm feeding every game and playing terrible and someone can't catch the stream, why would I release the VOD? Because they're just going to watch terrible feeding gameplay. Same thing on YouTube. I don't post bad and feeding games. I don't do this. Do oh, I thought it was because can... of DMCA. Because um, when I got hurt, hit by DMCA first time, they, they tell you like, oh, you have copyright content here. You can't publish this. Um, until you don't have it, uh, you're going to have to manually review every single one. And once I installed voice meter banana, I had to like upload a couple of them because I'm splitting audio tracks now and I had to manually upload like, a couple of words and then, uh, I just set it back to automatic now. Uh, but I guess he does it just because of quality assurance, I guess, quality control of content. If you want to still hold scrutiny towards me, towards me for that, whatever. I mean, I'm just trying to release the best content I can, and that's why very few VODs are available. But honestly, even if the VOD was available, I highly doubt it would change anyone's mind. A lot of these people were making stuff up, throwing mean, nasty tweets at me and saying, oh, this girl was a streamer, and then I knew she, who she was, and all of this is false information. Like, honestly, they just have this predisposition of disliking me, and I totally get it. If you want to dislike me, you want to hate my guts, that's totally fine by me. But for those people that want to actually listen and want to actually have an open mind to the conversation, thank you for being here and thank you for listening to this. Let's get right into the VOD, and I'll show you every interaction that I had with this player. To be consistent, show I'm sure every single interaction I had with this player, whether it be through text or through voice, because she was claiming I was flaming her all game, which is just straight up disingenuous, and you can tell that easily by the way I'm responding verbally and in text to this player and to the mid laner who's also hurling a lot of insults this game as well so i'm gonna show you everything and you guys can see for yourselves that this entire post is disingenuous and this is just a malicious narrative and i understand why they did it and you know i do apologize for wrongdoings i've done in the past but it really hurts me today be so quickly judged and attacked and be called mentally ill piece of shit misogynistic and a hurl of insults this other this girl threw at me <laughs> after the whole post was posted and i will show that at the end of the video as well just to show you like how disingenuous this entire situation actually was so those are you know, just typing all chat good luck have fun to talk to my jungle i'm just joking about being the best ringer in the world I'm the best ringer in the world bro and then after that, oh yeah, he used to be popular about my ring being too slow. I just and remember. Auto -filled. She's kind of instigating here. I just want to show you how I respond to her to kind of show you what I mean by I'm trying to not be talking. Raptors not there though. Yeah, but they'd have to literally look at the Raptors to know. <laughs> Crying Barks is her name checks out. I mean, I'm doing jungle as fast as I can. There's nothing else I can do. If anything, it's just uh, I gotta get a really good leash. And next clip here, I die. And this is Katarina. Two seconds. Getting a little bit more toxicity towards me. Okay, it's really only Katarina at this Imagine point. Imagine dying. Three point two seconds. Said, look at you, coming all game, and die, blah, blah, blah. Just basically whatever. Just basically <laughs> Dude, every solo key is the same. I swear, look at the amount of fucking typing. Oh, every fucking solo key game is just all the same shit. Cry and Bark is the name. <laughs> I think and at this point, I generally don't know if she's being serious or not, because she's complaining. Like, her. why is he typing back? Like, hasn't he done this for fucking years? What have you done all game? Why? Now you're just making a guy... Like, look, how psychologically this will work. You're now throwing a counter accusation which will only serve the purpose of making this person go extra defensive and when people get defensive they throw shit at you way more because they're trying to shed blame off of them it's just a horrible thing and now he's gonna go like all of the charts like blah, 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 blah. like what do you do you just you, you type mute i can't tell if he's being sarcastic he's complaining that graves is full clearing like is he being sarcastic is what is he supposed to do? Like, getting now, this video is not about the gameplay. I'm not going to sit here and nitpick the gameplay. This is the only gameplay I am going to show in this video. And I just thought it was very important context of what had happened afterwards. So this one is level 4, and then Nami's level 5, and Talon's level 8, which is double this one's level. And I'm just sitting here farming wolves right now, and this is what it happens. So she kind of gets caught in between two people here in the river. I'm not sure what she's actually trying to do, she doesn't have ulti yet. And Talon just walks away, but I get spam pinged, like, crazy by the Katarina. That's when I knew the Katarina, she was getting too much, she was flaming earlier. And then the to call me blind here, which, I mean, I'm pretty tough skin, man, I don't really care. Oh, yeah, it is like a classic situation when one person flames you, and you get designated as a scapegoat. That also happened recently on the stream, it was a very, very fun thing. 
Um, and whatever the fuck happens in the game, everyone is going to use you to absolve themselves off of blame. So they can make 15 mistakes in a row, but they're going to all like think back to that one that you got accused of at the start. It's just like a classic, classic pylon, you know? It's very, very interesting. Uh, yeah, like it's Ezreal, Ezreal Sona versus Lucian Nami, never gankable. Uh, Graves uh, versus Fiddle. It's very, very, very difficult situation in the top lanes Volibear Jax. Like, I, I don't know what what he can really do here, especially if the lanes, none of them have pressure. Hover, counter, and farm. I to show you, like, I felt this was part of the disingenuous uh, part of, you know, what had happened. So here's the clip again, just to show you my perspective of the situation. Here, just clearing, and then starting spam ping. And at this point, Katarina's just done enough for me to beat her by herself. So I don't really hasn't done much with spam ping here, and then she starts, she, this is where she yeah, says, are you blind? And I get really confused oh, he does by her tweet, and she said, I was nice. playing her whole game. That's so just to kind of get Honestly, he held longer than me. I would have muted that Katarina earlier. Although he may or may not have called me a whore flame. 5,000 people entire game first game in Ibl, but I don't think I'm a fan huh context I thought that, that gameplay part was important wait is Sona telling me am I blind I'm sorry do you have level 6 can you ulti the guy CC him so I kill him or, or do you think he'll just magically stop moving when I'm there maybe he'll stop moving for me I need Sona okay. to level 6 Okay, right, that was again very very mild, and uh, that was the the defensiveness part that I, that I talked about. If somebody accuses you of something and you believe that to be bullshit, you're gonna fight back. You may or not may not be right, but it doesn't matter. It produces um, negative situations, so it's just pointless to type here. Right now, but yeah, on stream, like uh, this is I, I I agree with this because I'll do this as well. Like I'll I'll vent off some steam or like tell to my chat why somebody is being wrong, uh, while I'm not gonna type at all. Typing back is stupid, but I, I might like say on stream. Fiddle's whereabouts unknown, and Sona not having level six at ten minutes in, we're in trouble. Maybe I'll just sit here actually. Don't have Sona. Old. Well, decent counter, but not much can be done. Big up, one shot. Electrocute? Oh my god, I thought they nerfed that shit, bro. Yeah, you got greedy. I think we just if so uh, Sona here says I think we should just FF. So I say yeah, you're not level six at eleven minutes in. I'm a little annoyed from the previous uh, interactions with the Katarina and Sona. She called me blind and whatever. But I think everything I'm saying is not toxic. It's tame. I'm just saying yeah, we might be able to get to fifteen minutes surrender before you hit six here. And this is where the critique of the gameplay begins. And I just want to show you how you respond. Dude, this feels so so, so mild. So like how did, funny, man. How did this blow They're up? So funny. Like, what the fuck? My Volibear is half the CS of Jax. My Sona's still not level six. So yeah, this is a pretty bad game overall. Um, you know, she's critiquing me. I say, okay, Florence, thank you, you're a great player. Sarcastically, obviously. Still. Damn, I was typing a correction on some of them. Ooh, and not I think this might have been a mistake. Could it? Saying Florence, because Florence is the name, but maybe Florence is her real name. So maybe that makes it more personalized, so she believes that he knows her? Could that be the mistake, saying the name? Really? Given the context, this is really tame stuff. I'm not flaming her all game as she's playing. I used the wrong lure. Uh-oh. Any grammar, please? Oh, that's cringe. All things considered, this game going really terribly, and I'm thinking for keeping it cool. Sorry, right, Arsona is almost level 6, guys. She's getting there. At this point, Arsona is still level 5, Yo, 12 minutes in. It's only 12 minutes in, and she's still level 5. It's okay. It's fine that their Nami's level 7 and killing me. Uh, now, that's literally the worst of it. I don't think I'm flaming her. By pointing out she's level 5 at 12 minutes, it's pretty difficult to play with a level 5 Sona, as most people know. Now, at this part, she's saying it's fine. We just go next. This is 14 and a half minutes in. That was so much damage, dude. Katarina's not balanced. Why is she really typing like a, your sun, average so fucking L9 joke? Since Minute 2 is like, okay, so BFF. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what the fuck, man? What is this? She, she must be from U.S. Hello? <laughs> She's native, born and bred. Have been so far. Someone's gonna hostage. Yep, here I'm trying to FF at 15 minutes because this game is over. It's pretty Every bad. time, dude. Every time. I'm just trying to leave, man. I'm just trying to farm some minions, bro. I, I left that in because I just want to farm some minions. I'm just keeping it cool throughout the game, even though it's going really terrible. So I left that one in when I died to Jax. And 17 minutes in, this Sona types, I know how great negative impact and matches their keyboard. And I want you to pay attention to the timestamp there. It's about 17 and a half minutes. And I want you to hear what I said verbally in response to this. I have so many different words I could call this Sona, but I feel like it just would be low class. You know what I'm saying? Is there any point in typing to this Sona? I can okay. say so many things, dude. So many. At this point, I point out I could say things to Sona, but I don't want to respond. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying not to be toxic. Even though I've been getting flamed the entire game. I'll smile, don't worry. I let this part oh, just the conversation with Sona. Did I get in the tower? I'm just talking about Harold in the tower. You know. I'm here to smite. And here in 1920, this is when I typed horror in the chat. This is where all the confusion started. No one's typed anything for two minutes. The whole conversation with Sona is over by now. I've been getting flamed the entire game by both Sona and Katarina. And now people are assuming that I know this player's gender. I know this player personally. And I'm following them a whore. I literally just typed the words in hard view myself, which I've done many times in different games. And I will show clips of those here just so you can see an show us. Showing That's you. like this the only thing. Like, because. 
Uh, okay, so he kind of shows that he doesn't ha know the person. So that's one of the key determinators. So if he doesn't know the person, the motivation could be gone because he doesn't know if the person is female. Okay, now you can you can kind of say that maybe because it's so on a support, you can assume eager or whatever. Okay, so the next question is, do does he have motivation to, to do that? Like uh, you can't, if, if he if he never did this and only did it in this game, it, it's, I don't know, it's very... Um, it's, it's a big stretch to say that he's saying that to you if he's doing that a lot of games. And the reason I typed this word specifically to mute myself is because I found out about it from another player a few days before. And I'm going to show the clip of that right here. Wait, what? What did he type? Guys, if you type the W word... What's the W, w word? word? Wait, what? Wait, you can't say <laughs> what that? Wait, what? Did I fuck up? Yo, can I you not say that? <laughs> the Zaya guessed the word correctly, dude. What word is it? Do I type it? Alright, I'm muting myself this game. This is rough. Once I'm sick, I'll have a fighting chance. <laughs> Even a little bit long, I'll let the rest of the clip play out here. Just so you can be sure, I'm not verbally talking to anyone. I'm not speaking to my stream badly about anyone on my team. Someone press no. You guys are degenerate. You guys are degenerate. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, like, you can type degenerate. I remember typing degenerate, right? Did I? Or I saw it typed. So, like... Why is the generate not a thing? Why can you do that? What? Hey, get banned. You guys remember what Donkey said to get banned? It was at this time that I called this male fight a fucking worthless, brain dead scum fuck. <laughs> Donkey. Clown. Thought he could beat me? I don't know, he's just handling the game normally. No, no big deal. And anyway, I have the clip. Was I calling people a whore today? <laughs> you guys told me he's gonna mute. Yeah, I didn't believe you. I tested down it. The street or something. I'm a scientist, okay? I did it for science. <laughs> wait, wait. If I said that, I'd be ending up on a Reddit thread tomorrow, dude. Hey, really good job, Florence. Really good job. Well done, bro. I think well, he ended up on a red no matter what. Who went zero seven and one and was instigating the entire game. And I said, "Good job, bro." When I honored the Sona, which offers more vindication, I did not know this player's gender. This the word I typed was not towards this player specifically or any of the sort. And it just it's just a misconstrued, weird narrative that people want to put. And I just want to say, I will completely admit it's my mistake for using this word to mute myself. Um, to clarify, I'm never going to do it again. I don't want it to ever be taken out of context like this ever again. And you know, just so you know, um, when you do type this word, it doesn't actually go through. No one can see it. It just all that goes through is it says that like, oh, this player has been muted for the rest of the game for inappropriate language. So the people on the other side of that are like, okay, well, I'm not gonna flame this guy anymore because there's no point. He can't see it. Um, that's why I like it more than mute all. You know, people can see that you're muted and they won't bother. Um, and then you know, some people say, why don't you just mute? Okay, so just... so the question is now, why is the whore intrinsically female slur? Couldn't you say that to a dude? Would it be worse or better? What, what, what does that mean? So all the other games weren't that bad? <laughs> Wait, Horde doesn't count for dudes? Wait, really? It's specifically gendered? So it's like a slur? I didn't know that. It doesn't translate to our language very well. Ah, interesting. What do you call dudes who's been sleeping around? I don't know fuck I know. Disable chat together. Well, I think that's really stupid. Why should I disable my chat going into a game when no one's being toxic? I, it's not too common that I have these, you know, kind of games where I'm being flamed by the entire team. But you know, when it does happen, I just want to mute myself and just focus, and they focus. So that's why I don't use those features. I do really like the new league feature, but hopefully they find a way. Maybe it's like a button. This is it. weird. Like I, I like I, I came in thinking this like a super nonsensical issue, but apparently this like this is like a big deal word in Western countries, is it? Man whore. Yeah, there's a man whore. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's man whore. Like, you mute yourself, and everyone on your team can see that. Now, the like, question is, if you type man whore, do you get muted? That is the question. They stop typing to you, you know, you know, punching air, typing to a wall. Because when they're typing, they're playing worse anyway, so. This is just a really disingenuous attack from Florence on Twitter, and I'm really disappointed. Um, I'm going to even put some more screenshots of tweets that this person posted after the initial post, uh, hurling insults at me even outside Oi. the game. And from Oi, I Alex, missed I mean, it. And from I missed it. Okay. It's not able to spray normal behavior for him. Yikes, the dude, and I never played with him before. So that's just countering your own point. Probably because he doesn't belong in Masters. Wait, isn't the whole point that he knows you? I can't believe he still streams. Because, like, insults online are meaningless unless they come with a context. Like, you basically ignore everyone, like, uh, unless it comes with a context. Like, look, I, I was never a fan of Nightblue. But to say you have 5,000 viewers, like, boost and all that, it's just, like, stupid shit. Because 5,000 viewers is a fucking insane amount. And any person that can actually build up their audience to that level, like, 
deserves the amount of respect because he built it up. Like, he was grinding that YouTube. He was, like, one of the YouTube dudes spamming that. Um, yeah. He absolutely popped off on YouTube back in the day. Yeah, I know he had challenger accounts. I remember. He was really good. I mean, he, like, he didn't improve. He kind of fell off, like, in the recent years, I believe. Um, but he used to be, like, consistently challenger, I think. Your soil saying these things to someone who piss chills 1000 LP. What? What does that matter? What does LP matter if the accusation is like, I want no such thing from a pathetic man. Nibble thing is mostly just cringe because why is someone who got boosted to master calling me names? I mean, that's a, like, that's an accusation. Pathetic man is also, I guess, an insult. Don't belong anywhere near my games, okay? But why is someone who's 300 LP below me calling me names? Again, LP is like a... Not a great thing to, to fling around as an appeal to authority. Um, ideally, you take the individual scenario. Uh, how far did I, how did I become involved in League Drama just by telling my jungle, who wasn't looking at the game, that he was blind? He legit wasn't paying attention. He got out. Well, I guess she started, right? I guess she started the drama. Well, I guess there's a prob probable um, scenario where somebody from cross-chatting would come and tell her, yo, this guy called you a whore. Just to kick shit up. Um, Because I, I I know this thing, these things happen a lot between Twitch audiences. I've had people like come into me like, yo, the guy you're playing with said this. Yo, the guy you're, you're playing against said that, said that. You know, it's just like a fucking telephones and you lose a lot and the people like want to stir shit up so they're going to write offensive stuff um, on purpose. And I, I, I mean, I'm level hit enough to never take him seriously. And like, oh, I'll try to like, give me a link or whatever, you know. Um, could be that that's the case. I don't know. So how did like, why did Ellis comment on this? Did he have some more insight? Is it just out of hatred for Night Blue, or is he like, or did she tell him? Like, can you repost that or what? Posted after the oh, initial post, uh, hurling insults at me even outside of the game. And from LS, I mean, at best, this is just another twisted malicious narrative that he wants to believe and that he wants to push towards, you know, the public. And honestly, that creates irreparable damage because there's going to be a lot of people who see that tweet who are never going to see this video and are not going to be open-minded to yeah. any reason whatsoever. So I'm honestly really fucking hurt. Like, it sucks. Yeah, it sucks that. that I'm trying harder to be better and you still have people like LS spreading malicious misinformation. I'm going to show you some of his other tweets here and how he's being applauded by thousands of people. She didn't seem to say anything bad, you real. I mean, she was spam. She was annoying the entire game, spamming. Pointless shit. Um, she's saying you're FK not paying attention to the game while clearing and you turn around and call her a whore. Okay, so there's the implication. Um, you continue to just be one of the most perplexing piece of shit that ever was birthed from the LOL community. That's also kind of like a big insult and um, mentally ill. You're ill. I guess ill. I don't know. Please don't call me mentally ill. That's not very daijobu. What, what is that? Is that some Japanese thing? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you just type the word community, which would be a slur towards the only female player in the game, you know, is female. Then talk about it on the stream, but it wasn't direct. I mean, you can. That job is Japanese for cool? Oh, okay. I mean, couldn't you just um, look at the context behind the game? Like, again, like when you guys mentioned this to me, I, I figure like there's a couple of things that need to be met for this to, to matter. Like, he needs to know. The person and needs to know that she's a female he needs to have a motive you know and he needs to you need to prove that he never wrote whore to anyone before specifically to that person so it's like a very very difficult rigorous thing to prove and i think none of those standards are met here um good thing i didn't find myself calling girl streamers whores on the stream because they said i'm afk jungling see the issue with the the issue with this um, sort of situation where, where uh, things are taken out of context like, like this, and Ellis kind of propagates this uh, false narrative. Um, the issue with this is um, people tend to do this a lot online. And then it's going to be, it's going to come down like I, H3H3, H3, let's say, does this a lot. And a lot of people, like, and he fell off completely. Um, a lot of people are going to say something that's taken like to the far, far extreme. And uh, it's kind of like misconstrued. And you're gonna say some bad thing about a person, and you're gonna you're gonna every next time there's criticism, um, and there's like fighting within that like group or uh, like somebody's talking to that person, they're gonna bring back like remember that time you were that, 
the thing that you got called by bullshit, right? So now Nightblue in a year or two could very well find himself in a situation. If he's like in any sort of other drama, people could be like, remember that time you were a misogynistic cunt, you know? And they can reference this part. And you, like, it's like a faulty reference. You're, you're referencing a thing that's not true, that doesn't exist. It's like a, it's like a memory leak in, in coding. Like you're referencing a thing that's just cleared like of memory or some shit, you know? Like it's just, it's not good. It, it's a bad reference to use, I guess. Um, so yeah, he could very well uh, do a lot of damage with this. Throwing out derogatory terms himself. It's not only hypocritical, but it's just really sad to see how like negative the leak community is. He really has his predisposition of disliking me and I'm gonna show some clips of that as well. And here in this tweet that he wrote afterwards, he says, coincidentally only one female player in the game. Claims he wrote the war horde self mute coincidentally. I mean, Ellis engaged with this like three or four tweets already from what I've seen. Um, wouldn't it be better to just look over the clips? Like, I, I would never claim something so adamantly without checking the clips and looking for details, right? Because maybe you can be wrong in one tweet and he amplifies and after he's like, he looks at the, the video and he's like, hmm, he's probably, it's very improbable that he actually said this to her specifically. So maybe he deletes the tweet or says, um, maybe I was wrong, you know, maybe this is not the case. You know, but the adamantly claim again and again, it's going pretty damn far without reconfirming. And it's very easy to confirm. We, we literally watched it here. Game and he knows it. He didn't delete I don't know why he's anything. trying so hard okay. to build this malicious narrative. Like, he really hates me that much. And it's like, even the person making the tweet, right, said this is the first game we ever played together. This person's not a streamer. Just a yeah, streamer. Like, that's what I mentioned immediately. Like, that, that felt like a self-defeating claim. Like, oh, you see me first time and you're misogynistic. Like, okay, that's something doesn't add Later. up. Just like everyone else. You know? And how am I supposed to know this person's gender? And why is everyone, why, or not everyone, why is LS reaching so hard to make it look like I am such a terrible person and I'm just throwing miso misogynistic slurs, which is fanable, uh, towards female players? Like, why would I do that? Why would I be that stupid? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, it's pretty easy to go against Nightblue um, in online, in league community. Like, he's got a lot of enemies, you know? But thousands of people are so quick to believe it. And thousands of people are so quick to applaud him for, for really bad stuff that he's doing. Like, he says, I'm mentally ill in his tweets. And I tell him, hey, that's not right. And I'm kind of like trying to play it off as cool. Like, oh, it's not Daijoku, you know? This came back from Tokyo. Uh, and then he said, shut the fuck up, clown. And people are applauding. People are, thousands of people are applauding this ever. behavior and liking this behavior. And we wonder why the leak community is so shit. I'm trying my best to be less negative and less toxic. And then you have people like LS and other people, I'm not going to name, but like, uh, they're, they're the ones that are doing the very opposite. There are real I'm the one here. that's being attacked by thousands of people with very mean, hateful, honestly, some of the terrifying tweets and messages. And in regards to LS, I don't know what it is that caused him to Yeah, that's why I wanted to use this as an example, but then when I would like, uh, conflate it too much because people are going to be, oh, look, are you equally, are you equating this and this? Like, you know, you know how people are online. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the point is that if somebody's hated, like, it's very easy to go against them because, like, people are just not going to bother with checking your site at all. They're just going to, like, pile on, pile on. Vendetta against me where he's just so quick to jump the gun and just build a malicious narrative at any time he can. Uh, I just want to say I apologize for whatever I did that upset you this much. I'm sorry. Yeah, good video I, to the I, point. I by years ago, and we both grown to be more mature. Uh, I just Fair think enough. it's really sad and disappointing. Like, I'm gonna play some clips. Like, how much hate this person has for me is not normal. Dude, Night Blue is gonna. I mean, dude, I mean he's, oh my god, dude. I'm, I'm on Twitter right now. I'm, so, I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. What is he saying? <laughs> what is Night Blue saying? He's so fucking dumb. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Bro, what I just don't understand is LS literally two months ago posted a YouTube video manic. about talking about his mental health states. He's taking many breaks for his own mental health. He understands the importance of mental health. And then he goes and calls me mentally ill on Twitter to be applauded and to farm impressions and likes because there's a lot of people that don't like me. I get it. But it's really unempathetic, it's inappropriate, and it's disappointing. It's hypocritical. I don't understand why he goes to such great length to build these malicious narratives. Yeah, I don't know, introvert. When he's calling someone a whore, worse than mentally ill. I don't know. Apparently, there are like uh, weird connotations in, in English language in like Western countries. I'm still learning about it because I like it's very difficult to understand like where the culture is when you're looking at stuff online. Because from my point of view, I didn't think it was bad like that bad until uh, today, basically. Um, but yeah, like I, I didn't know that's like a some major slur. It's weird. It's weird. I guess it's like how languages translate. It's different. Every time he gets a whiff of drama that relates to me, he has to just build a narrative and push it as hard as he can. Like again, I'm sorry for whatever that upset you. The amount of the amount of times that I've I've, I've like flamed that he's done because he's flamed people that were like um close to me. Like he flamed Max one time, right? That was like two years ago. The, the Twitter thing where I went through the entire game and took screenshots okay. of like everything. That was like what two years ago or something, something like that. And then there was the Tyler one drama with the Baron. That was forever ago, man. So the, the TLDR is Night Blue called a female streamer in his game uh, a whore, and then oh, yeah, I guess the best example is the word cunt. The cunt is just a literal no-no word in, in America. Where near you in Australia is just, you know, it's a it's a word that can mean literally anything. <laughs> is that he's not calling her a whore? 
um, he says that he just happened to coincidentally use the word whore in league chat to get himself self-muted. That, that's what he's claiming, but he's not referring that to her like as a whore. Volume. Right. So you know what? When, when he's in a game with me, he's going to type the F word, the slur for LGBT people, yeah, but it's not yeah, targeted yeah. at anyone. It's not targeted at anyone, yeah. I, I almost actually wrote that on Twitter. I was going to ask him to call me an F word, um, yeah. and I was curious if he would try to punch up instead of just punch down. He's probably like, I don't know. I, I think I'm trying to decide if like... he believes this or not. Like, it's weird. I feel like Ellis believes this, but he didn't go deeper into the thing, which is weird. I, I think, uh, okay, here's my here's my take from the situation, from just like uh, observing this as a side character. Um, so the pre-existing drama and hatred definitely exists. There is animosity here. So I feel like Ellis got just a sample of this and didn't bother to check behind the story because it just fit conveniently that Night Blue Bad, I hate him. This must be how it went down. And yeah, when, when you put it like this, oh, just type in whore um, in chat to the, to the only person, you know, it, it, it sounds kind of like a stretch if you don't understand that he typed it before and he typed it like after the thing and he doesn't know the person at all, right? So there's like a couple of factors to be met here. So I, I guess he just ran away with it and he kind of convinced himself that's the truth. So that's why he's coming across genuine. Interesting. Like, one of the people in the league scene that I absolutely... Yeah, know. definitely unprofessional, um, though. I actually can't think of anyone else. Definitely unprofessional and a pretty uh, difficult thing to do. Like, a very, very dangerous thing to do when you have a lot of audience. Like, 10,000 10, viewers, it can do irreversible, irreparable damage here. Like, I remember, like, um, a guy was calling me a scripter. And, yeah, like, I just... I was literally on stream. I just made a video. It's like, okay, I'm not a scripter, dude. Like, uh, but it, even such stupid shit like that can can cause so much damage because in the next month, because the person had like over a thousand viewers, two thousand viewers, well, I was like a shit streamer. I still am. Um, it's like a dif like a difference of viewership. Like for months after, I would get people coming in like, oh, you use scripting piece of shit. You know, it's like what the fuck, dude. Like I literally posted the day after. The, the, the video for my stream, my vote is up, everything is up. Like, I'm literally playing the game. I'm just really good at predicting, right? <laughs> and then people just kept doing this. This is stupid, you know? Uh, yeah. like, uh, that isn't, like... No, I'm, I'm being serious, though. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what else I can do for you. I'm not perfect. I'm still going to make mistakes. I'm going to, from now on, apologize on, by video for these mistakes. And if you want to have a talk one-on-one -on -one about it, I'm always open to conversation. Literally message me anytime. Okay, I hope respect. it's a two-way street. You know, I really hope that we can get past this. And I think in regards to the league community, thousands of people applauding him saying I'm mentally ill, um, you know, on his tweets that a lot of people are going to see and it's going to cause irreparable damage to my, you know, to me. And I just hope that we change. And if you're a viewer or supporter of mine watching this right now, thank you so much for watching. This video was mainly made for you guys because I don't think people are going to hate, they're going to hate. I'm not trying to switch their side. I just don't want my viewers to get the wrong opinion of okay. me. Especially when these okay, 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 okay. Um, pretty interesting. Let's check his tweet to see if he deleted anything. I'm actually curious. Because I mean, upon the researching this, I think deleting the tweets should be in order to, to prevent any more harm. Maybe even like writing a tweet, like, okay, potentially this didn't happen, you know. Oh, here we go. Tweet deleted by order. Oh, uh, wait, which one? Claims he wrote the word horde self mute coincidentally only one female, and he knows it. I mean, see, this is like a claim. This is a very adamant claim, and he knows it. How? Can you, like, did you see? Because I, I watched the thing, and I didn't think he knew it. Didn't you say you use that to full mute multiple times, Prince? Mute all just works great, disabling chat. He has no excuse. Everyone can go off with that. <laughs> Nightblue deleted his tweet. Why? She called him blind. Not a fan of Nightblue, but she was toxic. AFK all game equals blind. A bunch of these takes come biased, like sound biased. But I mean, obviously, like coming from LS Twitter. Why is everyone so butter about flavor in a video game? Yeah, at the end of the day. Why does Night Blue over the years show no progression in social behavior and essentially regression? I can't understand the behavior and factors. Makes so rotten. Bro, Twitter is just so quick to judge people. Like, rotten. Regression. Like, imagine interacting with a person, like, two different flashes. You see one flash from, like, five years ago, I don't like this person. Second flash, like, this, like, a very, very skewed, biased perspective of a person. You're like, regression. You know, he's rotten. Like, dude, Twitter is just so wild, I swear. People just make, people just make so many claims. Nagalash is a little toxic. Yeah, I mean, if he's toxic, she's toxic as well. In fact, from the, the, the game that we've seen, she was typing way more. She was more, more toxic. Oh, that's weird, man. Weird situation. And Ellis didn't say anything. This is from Nightblue, uh, but yeah, he deleted this.
I don't know why it deleted. <clears throat> Check out the explains of deleted. Okay. We're going over there right now. Let's see. Heads up, I deleted my two previous stories because of how talks people became in the replies instead of making a video showing the proof. That, okay. And he just made a video. And he denied the replies. Um, yeah. I'm glad he stood up for himself and clarified the things. I mean, he had to, obviously. He had to. You're fully caught up now? Thanks, chat. Uh, yeah, now that I'm fully caught up, I think it's an extreme stretch to to say that he specifically said this to this person, specifically because she's female and he knew her. I think that's an insane stretch. And to claim those things would constitute as misinformation. And while you're operating a heavy, big platform, it's not desirable to do that. Uh, I, I, I think that's a misuse of your fame and platform. So probably deleting the tweet with like some sort of reconciliation should be in order, in my opinion. I've still been baffled about the whole slurs in English. Like are people really, yeah, yeah, it's it's weird. I, I didn't understand it either. Like I, it's, it's weird stuff. People tend to put a lot more value uh, on slurs in in English speaking countries for some reason, or well, I guess specifically United States, right? Yeah, it's weird if you're coming from like Balkanic country or like Eastern Europe in general. It's, it's a very very weird thing. It's weird. It's weird. Like people tend to forget that there has to be like meaningful context behind the slur for it to be like a really really ugly thing. Me and my friends like tend to like call our, each other like slurs and stuff like that. But again, like it's it's nothing bad because there's there's no real context behind it. Something about ethics right now, uni. People are encouraged to report you, and it gets easily out of control. Uh, yeah, the, I mean that is what the. For some reason, a lot of people are gonna dispute this and say this doesn't exist, like the cancel culture, which is like a play on the call out culture. Uh, and hell, you even have people like veteran who are um, really insightful in a lot of different fields. Uh, type very weird stuff like oh there's no such thing well actually I don't know if he said there's no such thing but he said the thing with the ocelot wasn't cancel culture which is absolutely ridiculous oh you didn't know what the n-word was when you were 13 yeah I mean again if you're not really taught about it um, you, you don't really know that it's really that bad I don't remember when was the moment where I learned it was like really bad in America I actually don't know can't remember that like aha moment, you know. But I listened to a lot of gangster rap as a kid. I listened to a lot of old school rap. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird, like this experiment we're running with online connections. Saying the inverse back in style now that Elon took Twitter. Yeah, I saw that. It rose up by five hundred percent, and people don't even understand that the moderation, like, there's no way. Elon had a chance to put in place his own moderation in time. Like, they literally t took over. Like, he just walked into the fucking building. People are literally literally typing the shit that they could have typed anyway, even before. They're just typing it to, like, probe and push limits. Oh, now it's Elon's? Let's type this shit. You know? A lot of it there is, like, for people being edgy and memes. And uh, some of these are just, like, to amplify the numbers and shit. Or push limits. I mean, it's just, like, this exact thing. Um, I did not know about this horror thing on uh, Riot Games. And now, you can bet your ass this Nightblue situation is gonna amplify the usage of word whore. And yeah, as I was saying, like, if, if you have people, like, now you're gonna have word whore go up in popularity in uh, League of Legends. So more people are gonna type it, myself included, as I did the test out earlier, uh, whether it mutes you when you guys told me. Um, more people are gonna type it, and then Riot Games can look at their like data mining, and they're like, "Oh shit, whore whore went up by like three hundred percent, huh?" Like, people are getting more misogynistic these days. You know, it's like you're gonna come to false conclusions uh, based on it. So uh, yeah, it's just like the N word thing on Twitter. People think shit changed, so they're just gonna push limits now, and it's actually the, actually the same thing.